Hi guys! Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be creating an artwork using only the colour yellow. I've done this before, I've done it with pink which I'll put up there in the little iCard thingy and I today I was wondering mm, what video could I film today so I looked up the prompt for today's mermaid it was honeybee oh, okay honeybee is yellow and then my brain just went you can mix two things together so we're going to be doing a mermaid drawing using the prompt honeybee and using only this color so I'm just gonna very quickly go through what I have I'll swatch them off camera because it's boring to watch so I think the very obvious one is I have my Copic markers here I have a fair few different ones as uh, some of them look brown but I promise they are yellow and it is in the Y range so if it's got a Y on it it's in the yellow range I've then got a highlighter which is it looks very pale but it's actually like your standard highlighter I've then got two sharpies one's like a slightly darker yellow than the other we'll see how they go we've then got two fine liners honestly they're fairly similar colors one's ever so slightly different shaped tip we then got a smencil which smells like lemon and lime apparently we've then got a yellow pencil from Stadler which I think I got from Scrollerbox if I remember rightly we've then got four watercolor pencils by Faber Castell in various yellows we've then got I think this is a standard colored pencil yes yeah, so this is just a standard color pencil also by Faber Castell we then have this little absolutely tiny pot of paint which I think I got from some kind of craft kit but I don't honestly remember so don't really know what it actually is it's probably just water based like poster paint we've then got a watercolor disc which was from the Wilkinson's let's create kids set got uh, Wilco's Let's Create Kids oil pastel as well. Here we've got my watercolour set which is Windsor and Newton. Newton. Um, I'll be using these ones up here. There is two yellows down here but they're actually the same two yellows as up here. I've just got spare ones. I've then got acrylic paint by Royal Langnickel. Cadmium yellow standard acrylic paint. And then I've got Willow's Let's Create Willows. Wilco's Let's Create Neon Paint. It doesn't really come up that much on camera, but I'll take some photographs with my phone. It's really neon. So hopefully we can have some fun with that. So those are all the art supplies I will be using today. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them out myself and label each one so I can tick it off as I'm going along. But let's get into what I'll actually be coloring in today. Just before we get started, I'm just going to show you a few little designs I've done for today's drawing. My general idea is to have a mermaid, obviously. I'm going to mix her somewhat with a bee, and then I've also like going to have her have a little friend that's like a... I've called it a bumblefish. <laughs> I don't know if that's even actually a thing, or I've just made that up, but anyway, this is my kind of quick sketching ideas, what I was going to do. I'm also going to try and make a, like a chunky mermaid, because bumblebees are like round and cute, so anyway, <laughs> I'm going to make her nice and chunky. These are my little designs for my bumblefish. See, see, I wrote, I wrote bumblefish right there. I originally started with him like facing like one way or, or the other. I don't know what happened here, by the way. The little three face I started kind of doing over here. It looked like that ooh ooh face. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not gonna do it like that. Um, I think this one here is probably my favourite. So anyway, that's my little bumblefish who will be accompanying my mermaid in this drawing. I've just done my like swatching which is all looking very thematic I've actually added one which is my Winsor & Newton ink which is gold it's so pretty and gold is yellow in a way so the only thing about it is I don't know if you can tell but between this and the pink one there is one startling difference you can't really get a dark yellow as in something to use for line art because it would basically end up being brown whereas with the pink you can have a dark pink and it's still pink it's not like purple or anything I know I'm supposed to only use yellow for the whole drawing but I am gonna end up using um, my black Copic marker for like chunky fine lining and I've got a I got a brand new pen it's a uni pin fine line water and fade proof pigment ink in 
08 because I like it chunkier. So I am going to be using these. I wasn't going to, but after swatching them, the drawing is going to look very washed out because it's just all going to look the same. But I'll try not to rely on them too much. Anyway, now we're actually going to get into the drawing. So here it is. This is my painting using every single yellow supply that I own. It was so much fun to do this and I really love the way it came out. It don't, I don't know if it really shows on camera but I've taken some b-roll to show you. The neon and the gold really come up really nice and I love the way my little bumblefishes came out. I did one which she's holding it and I put one on her shoulder as well. If I compare this to the pink one I did a little while ago, I do prefer the pink one, but I think that's more because I'm not a big yellow fan. But I do really like the way it came out. Obviously I used um, black and I used my white gel pen for this, but as I explained at the start of the video, that's more because the yellows would just merge into each other. Um, and I, I really like I did honeycomb on her tail as well. I'm quite excited to see what colour I try next. I might have a look at the mermaid prompts and see if any of them make sense. If you've got an idea as to which colour you'd like me to do next, leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!